Aristotle, who was the student of Plato, who was the student of Socrates, had some pretty interesting opinions on politics that don't necessarily agree with the modern American mindset. But who exactly was Aristotle? What did he say about politics? And why don't we agree with him? Aristotle lived during the 300s BC, growing up in Macedonia and tutoring a young Alexander the Great. After moving to Athens, Aristotle studied under Plato at the academy and founded his own school, the Lyceum, taking on the role of a scholar. At the Lyceum, Aristotle was the first philosopher to take a scientific approach to politics. He had his students collect information on the political organization and history of 158 different cities. Aristotle's theories and writings about the best ethical and political life are drawn from this empirical research. Through his writings, we find that Aristotle closely linked politics and ethics. This link was known as the concept telos, meaning purpose, goal, or final end. We can illustrate telos with a knife. To describe a knife, you would talk about its shape, size, and materials from which it is made. But you would also have to say that it is made to cut things. This is the telos of a knife. To Aristotle, people have a telos, and that is to become happy. Drawing on the works of Plato and Socrates, he says that living happily requires living a life of virtue. Without virtue, life cannot be happy, and without happiness, a person is like a knife that will not cut. How does this relate to politics and ethics? A person demonstrates their telos by acting in an ethical and virtuous manner. However, according to Aristotle, the telos of politics is to provide an environment where people can live fully human, ethical, and happy lives. Aristotle had this to say about politicians. Lawgivers make the citizens good by inculcating good habits in them, and this is the aim of every lawgiver. If he does not succeed in doing that, his legislation is a failure. To Aristotle, government played an active and meaningful role in the lives of its constituents. Ethics, morality, and behavioral expectations flowed from the government. There was no such thing as separation of church and state. As we'll see in future videos, this line of thought is much closer to the church's political philosophy than the modern liberal philosophy found in the West today. I'm Caleb Foshi with the Dust Bowl Catholic. If you like this video, subscribe right here. You can also use these to follow us on social media. We'll see you next week, and until that time, be not afraid.